Good morning, everybody. We are here in Dayton, Ohio, and we're on our way to Indianapolis. I'm here with JD Productions. What's up, uh, guys? Boys. Awesome, dudes. Also, you can't sleep on the Timmies. We got Timmies. the Timmies. 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 We don't have Timmies in Virginia, man. We gotta we gotta go up north to get some Timmies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's rough, man. Ohio is like half Canadian, basically, right? <laughs> yeah, close enough. That's dude. why we got the Timmies. But yeah. uh, we're on our way to Indianapolis, going to a Colts Bengals game. It's gonna be a blast. Uh, I don't know if there's many vlogs from like NFL games during 2020, so we're gonna try to do our best to show everything and yeah hope you enjoy let's get into it let's, let's do it boys up, we boys. in indy we in indy so here we are good old lucas oil this place is literally gorgeous i don't know if anyone has been here but if you've been here you know thoughts so far i've it's never huge. been here and it's Definitely bigger and better than FedEx, Bank of America, and Every MetLife. Every stadium I've ever been to. Just... Yeah, again, the place is designed like a classic Indiana field house for basketball. Kind of like Hinkle Field House, if you know where that is in Indy. I mean, I've been here a couple times. It's gorgeous. Like, I don't understand why uh, the combine's here. Yeah. They have a plenty good setup. Of space. Oh, sure. They've got a good setup, and there's hotels, like, right connected kind of to the stadium. So it's cool. We're going to get more shots as we go along, but so far, it's beautiful. We got three hours till game day. We're here at like 10 o'clock, and game's obviously at one. So it's cool. Indianapolis is also a sweet city. The house that Manning built. The house that Manning built. Ah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right. So we got the uh, Colts team store. I love the sign here. We're gonna go in here. Got Darren vlogging. Being at an NFL game, 2020. It's nice. It's nice. We got some uh, cool stuff on the bricks. Colts fans, stuff like that. Pretty cool. I just cannot get over this stadium. I mean, this place is gorgeous. I can't wait to like do more stuff like this in the future, going to games. But you know, we gotta take it for what we got for this year, because not many people are letting fans in. So they got the window open, which is awesome. Pretty sweet, Jackson. There's your boy. There's there's the Manning. Well, Peyton Manning's been standing. He stood there. So like, your dreams coming true? Yeah, pretty much. I'm just happy to be here. There's downtown Indy. Pretty chill city. It's pretty chill here. Yeah. But here I'm like, whoa. This is Lucas Oil. <laughs> He's got to mask up for a minute, but like, if you guys have never been to Lucas Oil, this is actually a place to come to. It's pretty. It, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. We're going to go check out Peyton Manning. So here's the Peyton Manning statue. Awesome. Honestly, one of the coolest statues I think I've ever seen. Here's a close up on the sign. You can pause it and read it. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Is it surreal? Yeah. It's a little surreal. Then we got the back end. Got the 18 on the side. Manning jersey right there. That's awesome. Another 18 on the side. Manning on the back. Got the city. Got Jackson. Got Darren. Got Lucas Oil. Welcome. I mean, this place is massive. Here is a sign of what they expect from you when you're heading into an NFL game during this year, which is. Still pretty interesting, they got the COVID warning. I just thought you guys would think that'd be cool. Here's just a sign in front of the uh, stadium. It's got a cool map of Lucas Oil. And this is where the football happens, right here. Yeah, that's where yeah, that's where Philip Rivers be throwing touchdowns, right? Oh yeah, he does play for I was just about to say Andrew Luck. Yeah, we are seeing Philip Rivers play today, that's right. I know, I, for, I keep forgetting he's their quarterback. Here on this side of the stadium, we got like COVID screening for like staff. Pretty interesting. On the other side of the stadium, security to let you in. We're really early. Also, there's not a whole lot of people that are getting into like games like this. So. And we had to get our temperature taken before we like walked yeah. in. Walked yeah. in because... Quick little temperature check over there. And they've got, I mean, they, they've got the Colts, there's an announcer right now just repeating the same lines of wash your hands, make sure you don't have a cough, blah, 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 blah. And they've got these like social distancing markers, but since it's just us standing in line. We don't really have to socially distance. Yeah, we really don't have to. We're already so now we're just kind of waiting to get scanned and stuff. Score prediction. Who's playing again? Who wins? Uh, the Colts win. These are I don't two know. pretty bad football teams. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I think the Colts chill. Win, dude. They are. All right, you're right. I got the Bengals hat on, but I think the Colts win. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 20, 23 17 Colts. I think the Bengals are going to win. Go and I actually think this might derail the Colts season. Whoa, well, you think Joe Burrow's going to pull out the dub on top of Phillip Rivers? Nah, I don't want to get. I don't want to get beat up around here. You're going to jump tomorrow. But I actually think that you this might. Bengals hats. This might. You look ridiculous. You know what? You can leave. 
He's wearing a Bass Pro hat. I don't want to yeah, hear it. Yeah, he's cheering for the fish. Yeah, he's cheering for the fish. Go fish. Go fish. Go fish. Oh, I'm hyped. I, yeah, no, I think, got, I think we, Cole's pulled We out. got the horses versus the cats today. Yes. <laughs> horses versus cats. Thanks, Roger Goodell, for having a season. Yeah. Thanks, Roger. And thanks for not putting in a bubble so we can attend. <laughs> <laughs> Even though many people don't say thanks for that, but we do. Thank you. Breaking the bubble. So we're heading in now. Heading in. Game time. Getting our stuff. Just got through. First indoor stadium. It's going to be an experience. I'm looking forward to it. Oh yeah, especially walking in here. It is something else. Got a cancer ribbon, NFL cancer. Also got a game day. Quinn Nelson on it, let's go. It's pretty in here though. It's, what do you guys think? Look at, I know this place is like really cool. They've got like, they've got a history of racing in Indianapolis. So that's why they've got it designed like this. Tony Dungy, Colt Lyman, pretty cool. In the bathroom real quick, just if you were curious, they've also got something like this just to stay try to keep people clean. Stay healthy, boys. Stay healthy. Stay healthy. So this is pretty cool. Just like more things that you have to follow while you're here during the season. Also got the Colts show. Pretty cool here. I remember when I came here, that's where uh, Thursday Night Football was. They put them up right here and we got a Colts DJ. Here we are though. Here we are. Beautiful stadium. We got the roof open. Also, something interesting, they've got the seats blocked off. Bengals guys practicing over here. Pretty sick. Close as we can get, but. Cold though with the roof open. Not gonna lie. This stadium is pretty big, but it's not like massive. If you can see it, if you can hear me, we got the Colts Super Bowl banner and when they hosted the Super Bowl. Another angle of the stadium with Jackson and Darren. Now we came down to the Colts end. Watch them warm up a little bit. Oh, there's Blankenship. We just got waved at by Mo Alley Cox. TCU legend. TCU, baby, go Rams. College basketball legend. Jackson loves him. Both of them love him. baby. Chris Ballard walking right there. All right, you're not gonna believe it, but we also waved at Chris Ballard. Awesome, awesome GM. Awesome. Really good GM. Wave back. Wave back. He waved back too. We didn't just wave at him. He waved back. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right, so now we're walking around. They're fighting over the program, trying to get the ticket out, but Indy's pretty cool. Indy is pretty cool. Horseshoe, got the Colts helmet. More footage of the horseshoe that's inside the Colts stadium. It's hard to get footage of it, it's at a weird angle. It says Lucas Oil Stadium in it, you can like sit in here. That's pretty cool. Tiny little team store inside the stadium. This is really cool. Giant, giant Colts player. Kind of tackling a building or blocking. Sick Peyton Manning. That is cool. The concourse area here at Lucas Oil is really nice. Also something kind of interesting around the concourse is that they've got like spacing, which is really weird. It's like a road. It's yeah, like, yeah, it's basically to keep traffic flowing, which honestly isn't a bad thing to keep around because sometimes you come to stadiums and people don't know where the heck to walk. It's like something like that right there. There's the uh, Colts Pro Shop. We're gonna head in there. It's actually super nice in there. So here's the other side where we started at. Then we got the other diner place. I like, like, having stadiums that have cool attractions like this is awesome. Again, when they designed this building, they nailed it on having a retro look, but that's new. So here's something cool. When they had the Super Bowl, they put this up to commemorate the game. Also got the Big Ten Championship. A big painting of the Final Four in 2015. Then the best part, they've got all of these cool events that they've hosted to commemorate college football playoff, which will soon be coming. 2021 Final Four, hopefully that ends up being played here. Even like that Duke Butler game, that one kills me. And the Patriots winning the Super Bowl would have been awesome, but whatever. And while I'm at it, Wisconsin beating Duke would've been sick as well. Just having stuff like that in a stadium, it gives it way more personality. Like those signs. Dude, it's amazing. Oh yeah. Like cool. you said, yeah, personality for the sure. The Lucas Oil sponsor, or whatever it is, is awesome. Like it's one of the coolest sponsors. Yeah, and like, even like in here, the Huntington, like even though it's all green, it's it makes no green, sense. Yeah. It makes but no like, sense look, in terms like, of like, colors. The stands, like, for, like, like it's still pretty cool. Yeah. We've also got these club entrances, which is cool. 
cool little cold sign. We got a photo op opportunity right there. So big on high school football here. Like high school football stuff here. Pretty sick. Just having personality in your stadium makes it way more interesting to go through. And this area is super cool. They pay homage. I'm pretty sure these are all the high schools in Indiana. Just having like all their helmets up. I mean, that's so cool. If you were curious about concession prices here, this is what they're offering. Also, cool little place to go to if you're at a Colts game. Inside here, it's just seeing all the Hall of Fame players for the Colts. Here's something cool just to check out. All the things the Colts do within the city of Indianapolis and the state of Indiana. Yeah, you can pause the video, check it out, but that's pretty cool that they highlight this type of stuff. Couple things, water only costs three bucks. That's Did, not, okay. that's not too bad. That okay. didn't kill me. Also, another thing, the people that work here are super nice. Sometimes I go to stadiums and like the people just kind of like shrug you off, but like people at the Colts, super cool. So if anybody from the Colts sees this, just letting you know, the people that work here are super nice, so. So now we're currently waiting to get in the team store, which has a line, makes sense. Here's the team store. They've got us in a line to keep us socially distanced, but you can also get a custom jersey here. I'm gonna get a Mo Alley Cox jersey for these guys, support their boy from VCU. All right, so this is why it's taking forever to get in the gift shop. But up here, gift shop looks pretty cool. I've been in here once. I came in here right during like Super Bowl week in 2012. They even have a fanatic sign. Even the line to buy something goes on. Gonna find some cold stuff. My goal is to buy something from every NFL team stadium, so I've got a couple off the list. Pretty cool in here. Pretty cool. This is sweet. I like that. I really like the Colts logo. This new logo. This is pretty cool. Get a custom jersey. We've got jerseys. There's Jackson. Looking for a Manning jersey, probably. Manning or Mo Alley Cox? Mo Alley Cox. They probably, you have to get it custom, bro. We're gearing up. Man got a Quentin Nelson jersey. He's gonna line up for the Colts today. Dar Darren put on the Colts mask. I got this Colts hat. I like this Colts logo, how it has Indiana in it. Like, that's why I got my Bengals hat yesterday, because it had Ohio, but. Now we gotta take the escalator up. We're on the escalator. A long wait to get in. Obviously, getting here early helped kind of avoid some of that line. Now we're talking. Look at that view. Look at that. Indianapolis. Beautiful. I mean, that view behind us is so cool. And they've got the windows open, which is great because it feels amazing. But the concourse up here is pretty cool. I love this stadium. Then up here they also have like a little store, team store. They've got lots of, lots of merchandise everywhere. Also this concourse up here, not as nice as below, but it's still pretty nice. Also over here, another, not as cool of a view, but another view of the city. Opening kickoff, Colts getting the ball. And no one's getting the ball. All right, so we made it all the way to the top. That's basically where we're sitting. Again, can't get over this view. Honestly though, like this view is pretty sick. I mean like, the windows here are crazy. We've got like a million windows. Go make some go, go, go. Let's go! Oh, that's Nard Dog! Let's go Nard Dog! Again, it's hard to see stuff from up here, so I thought it was Mixon. That hurts my fantasy team because I have Mixon, but you also have Mixon? What, what can you do? What can you do? That's a touch. That should be a touchdown. Let's go! All right, we got the food vlog. I got to get the uh, Suvi Cup. Bengals are up 21-0. Just murdering the Colts. We all got the pizza. Cool. So something interesting to note is that in the top sections, the uh, Colts, they don't have markers on the seats. So like, and you can kind of just really sit anywhere, but like if you have an assigned seat, you gotta sit there. Like the cool thing about their stadium is they got these white seats that make the Colts logo, which looks really cool. We're all the way at the top. I thought this was gonna be see-through, but I guess not. 
Still a really cool view. Go Bengals! I guess, I don't know. Today's weird. All right, so now we're on the uh, middle floor. There's three floors, three levels. On the middle level, they got another team store. I swear they got a team store everywhere. All right, I'm here with my boy Colin. Big Bengals fan, big oh, yeah. Bengals fan. Go Burrow, he's a god, right? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's funny, I just saw him here, so yep. let's go Bengals, oh, right? Oh yeah, of course. All right, all right. So, the Bengals are currently down a point. 28-27. All right, two minute warning. Joey Burrow's been driving a little bit. It's still 31-27, two minutes left. Two minute warning. Two minute warning. We got a game, boys. We still Burrow have ice in his veins. Yes, he does. Watch him work. Burrow threw a pick. Come back. 21 coin comeback. Let's go. Great game, though. Really good game. The Colts are going to win 31-27. Leaving. Game over. Game over. Bunch of pain for me. They're enjoying it though. They're, they had a great fun. day for us. It was great. Oh yeah. It was cool to be at an NFL game in 2020. Thanks for watching everybody. Hit that like button. Appreciate you for watching. Say bye, JD Productions. Adios. Thanks for having us.